Capricorn, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Tarot, welcome everybody. My name is Michelle, and this is a message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Please take it where it resonates. I'm going to describe a lot of metaphors for you. Use it as it applies to your life. This is your reading. So it's how and where it resonates to you. That's it. That's it. If you want the full astrology breakdown because you love, love astrology and you want those details, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I give you your full astrology breakdown for Capricorn and all 12 zodiac signs every single week. So please check that out and subscribe over there as well. This reading comes to you exactly when it's supposed to. So it is an intuitive, divine intervention kind of reading. But if you want the messages as soon as I is as soon as I create them and I create them every single week, please subscribe to this channel so you can join me for all the conversations that we have on here. There are channel memberships on here as well so you can get my services or access to my services. Um, yeah, straight through YouTube. If you want a full astrology or natal chart analysis and forecast and full tarot spread tarot reading, I do do those. Those are personal readings and I absolutely provide them, but not through anywhere but my website. So if you're interested, please check it out. www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. That's where you'll find my personal readings information. You can book and schedule there. And there's a lot of astrology zodiac merchandise. If you're a fan, I hope you go shop and browse. Um, Oh, it's interesting to start a reading with a question because honestly I always ask the cards questions why it seems to me like your curiosity is going to be what guides you into an inquiry of self-discovery or discovery of some mystery maybe even a mystery that you didn't even know was out there just a sense of your curiosity is going to really be or play a big role in the outcome of this week you're curious about something and you want to discover something there are questions on your mind okay where does that lead us where does that take us what does that mean for Capricorn Ah. yeah okay so because that now that sounds like Capricorn there you go clean it up clean it up why why is it like this what's going on what's happening it may not be a judgment it's kind of open and curious but it's also saying I gotta fix this but you know what's so wonderful about this energy is there's wisdom to it there's a sense of okay it's not about making a judgment and saying this needs to be fixed it's realizing this needs to be fixed and understanding why it needs to be fixed so that when you go in to fix it to clean it up you can do it right and that is I, if I could brand it I would that is Capricorn mentality you guys don't want to just fix things you want to fix them permanently Everything you do, and this is what one of the things I love so much about you, you do it to the level of perfection. If people are irritated by you on the outside, they have no idea what kind of pressure you're putting on yourself on the inside. You want things done right. I got to clean this up. I got to fix it. But first, I want to know why it's happening so I know exactly what to fix. This is really interesting. nine of cups I like the presence of that there because it kind of gives me the certainty that you're happy that you're in a good spot and that this could only help make things even better you've got the nine of cups also there's a sense of if something feels off there's a general happiness but something feels wobbly information is going to be coming in this week because you inquire or search for it in order to fix it what needs to be cleaned up 
Eight of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So everything looks wonderful, but Eight of Swords is something... What is this thing? What needs to be cleaned up? I That's the question I asked, right? And then the Eight of Swords... Um, oh, that's really interesting. This has to do with some sort of abandonment you experienced. It may not be part of your current situation, but it was still currently in your heart. This is the week that you dare and have the courage to ask, why did it happen? And it's not to re even repair things to the point of getting back together with somebody or getting the job again. No, no, no. I want to clean this out of my system. But before I clean it out of my system, I need answers. And these are the answers that you're going to be getting. They have something to do with abandonment. Feeling that you were left behind and compromised right it's not like somebody left you behind with a million dollars it's that it's that feeling of being compromised and vulnerable and fixing that up okay so now we begin right what made Capricorn feel this way what's going on oh yeah eight of cups somebody just walked away in the middle of the night Somebody said, I'm done. It's over with. And it came crashing down like a tower. It was, oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is, this is, yeah. Somebody dumped you, fired you. <laughs> it could, could be, this is something that's already happened. I, I have that feeling. If it's happening now, this is really interesting. It has something to do with a relationship or somebody that you really love. So, it may be that just, it's almost like you're inquiring, why did you do it? Why did you leave me behind? And I'm telling you, you're making the inquiry now because in your, you're in a solid enough space. And even to your logical side, you're probably thinking to yourself, why am I even thinking of this? Life is good right now. <laughs> because you got to heal your heart. And some information has to be brought to, to the surface in order to do that. And that's what's going to be provided for you. I feel like you're actively pursuing it, but you will get it. So maybe either that or it's with regards to conflict that's happening with regards to some sort of... Um, inheritance or um, somebody left you something in the will it's it's almost like a sense of cleaning things up so that other people aren't pissed or agitated or because they were pissed and agitated now you're trying to clean it up and fix it up not necessarily sacrifice or give up what you have but because we do have the nine of cups here and we do have the two of cups here this is happiness abundance togetherness but there's all these abandonment issues underneath the surface. They're not breaking your situa current situation, but you, because of your current situation, you want to clean them up. You want this house, this new house, house you've built, you want it pristine. You've, you've waited long enough, you're going you're gonna to make it pristine. Somebody leaving or walking away or not being interested anymore just really tore you up and you just felt so alone and so now you're asking why can we ask why God let's ask why 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 did they do this who why why was Capricorn left behind why somebody was an alcoholic using a lot of drugs or they were kind of confused and delusional they definitely were not seeing clearly this has to do with seven of cups so seven of cups could be excessive alcohol use it could also be it just basically means it means confusion so many selections and so many choices it could have been this person was always choosing and selecting and looking and searching and they weren't sure they couldn't make up their mind it could have been that simple they weren't content 
something was making them non -con not content. But for some of you, this was alcohol. I don't know if it was you doing the alcohol or it was somebody else. But there is that sense of worry or abandonment surrounding these kind of delusions. It could also mean that the revelation is somebody was confused because they got the wrong messages. They thought something was happening that wasn't. This could also be a statement of you. You may be feeling like you're about to get walked out on and abandoned, but it's because of all this other crap that's been built up inside of you, you're not really seeing clearly. That could be as well. Emotions are running high, super moon. We had a super moon a couple of months ago. So what was happening around there when emotions got real big? It's got to do with it or else it wouldn't have come out. It's all coming out now. If something came out then and it wasn't fixed, for some reason it was left to now, very emotional week, but purposeful because you're gonna clean that stuff up. <laughs> now, if I was talking to anybody else, I might say, oh my God, what a difficult week for you guys. What this says to me is work and progress. And there is nothing that can make you feel as good as hard work and progress, where you see the progress, where you see the purpose and you know you can clean it up. That is why I'm kind of excited for you guys. Let's see the outcomes, shall we? Ooh, King of Swords, there is a decision that is made. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, wise. This is a decision based on wisdom. It could also be based on law. There's some sort of decision about money here because we just had the Ace of Pentacles. Some sort of decision about money that is front and center right now. Let's go through the cards. King of Swords, joined by the Ace of Pentacles, is just clarity. Maybe a decision about finances or money or how to make it. And King of Wands. That's interesting. You're dealing with somebody. This could be you're dealing with CEOs or executives or somebody who is very generous. Very generous. Wants to make you an offer and present an offer to you. Or you're dealing with people who are high up and got a lot of money to play with. But there is definitely a sense of playing in the big league. And I don't think there's games. I don't think they're being insincere. But this is somebody who has their own mind and their own sense of direction. And that opportunity is presenting itself for you now. Hmm. What's one have to do with the other? Connect the dots for me, please, Spirit. Strength. It's almost like now you understand your value. Because you've been through the crap. Looking the beast in the eye, not afraid of it anymore. The star card. You know what's really interesting, Capricorn, is that the tough stuff that we're put through is really our training ground to be able to be strong enough to carry our blessings. Because they take responsibility in the real world. Blessings aren't light in the 3D world. They're heavy. They take responsibility. So all of this is going on to prepare you for a really happy event or happy outcome. And now it's a sense of, are you strong enough to have your dreams and wishes come true? Are you strong enough? Yes, you are. Because something is about to be presented to you, some sort of opportunity, fire sign, by a fire sign or a... Or a, a air sign by somebody who has the ability to do it you're presenting this there this is opportunity opening up for you abundance Ooh, what is this wish come true let's get into that Ooh, i gotta know capricorn what is this wish come true 
Oh, I love it. Ooh, I love it. Let's go to the extended, guys. I love you. And I will definitely see you guys in the extended. Link is down below. It's above. It's all over the place. I'll see you guys there.